Hello, welcome to Laura's View in Tarot 2. Tonight we're going to be taking a look at a question that a viewer asked me to um, do a read on. The emergency broadcasting system. Um, alt media and uh, back channel sources reported that on the 15th of March, the um, <clears throat> FEMA headquarters that had EBS capabilities uh, was put under white hat control. And I know other readers have done an excellent job of asking about this in some way, but I wanted to dig a little differently into this. And I wanted to ask the cards tonight, <clears throat> are all of our EBS systems um, under white hat control? And what tactical advantage does that give the Alliance? So let's look at tactical advantages and um, and if the nationwide capabilities of EBS are under white hat control, let's see what the cards have to say. Okay. And thank you, uh, Sky Peterson, for another excellent suggestion on what to read about. Okay, our cards are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight and nine will be uh, final clarifiers or more information. And as always, I've made sure that the cards knew the type of layout I'd be doing and what my question was before I drew the cards and we'll see what the universe has to say. I'll be right back. Here's our layout. <clears throat> our question about the EBS is signified with the moon card. And that's kind of uh, appropriate because the moon card is about secrets. And we're asking for information about something that there has been a lot of disinformation about and secrets. And while we know that in the art of war, you can't be an open book about plans and possibilities. Um, those of us that are awake and looking for information, we would like to know more. So our question, the subjects indicated by the wands, um, which are about words, and, um, and that is kind of appropriate because the EBS is a communication system. And um, I'm sorry, if you're hearing a cat in the background, that's my older cat, Chloe, saying hello. She doesn't want to be part of the reading. She just uh, wants mom to give her some attention. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Back to the reading. In the recent past, there has been a change about the EBS capabilities. And uh, this is the present. Uh, it looks like they are securely, but nationwide, I know that local authorities might have some capability, you know, just like, if you live in a community that needs a tornado warning, they can, they can send one out. But it looks like the nationwide capabilities have been secured, which is uh, excellent news because in the uh, near future, okay, the uh, EBS, I'm getting that there's still too many possibilities to get a clear read on will it be used? So I'm not going to go out there and say that I'm getting that from this. Um, it, it may be, but I'm not getting a clear read on that. And I think that's because we haven't gone far enough down to the road of possibilities to where that can be uh, predicted accurately. And I'm not about predicting, I'm about getting insights from the cards and sharing with you what it seems to be telling me. I do get the feeling that whether it is or not, uh, there's some celebration both about the fact that control for the White Hat is, is in the hands of the White Hats, the Alliance. <clears throat> and uh, whenever I have the swords, that's my military card. And this man is running into the situation if need be in the near future. So the military might be involved with an EBS announcement. Um, because you know, I shared in a previous video, I do believe we are quietly under martial law at this time and have been ever since the uh, um, Biden administration came into being. So I think there's gonna be some um, celebration, <laughs> if not in general, at least the fact that this is one other element 
And when I asked about the tactical advantage, um, what I'm getting is that this prevents trickery from and, and confusing messages coming out in the event that it is used. For example, if we were asked via EBS to lock down and the dark cats told us it was an all clear before it was, it could be disastrous. So I, I think they're using a lot of discretion about whether or not that's going to be a needed step as we get a little farther down the road here in these uh, final days of our old earth, we will, we will see what happens. Now my card eight and nine. Card eight was the king of swords. Again, remember my higher swords usually indicate the military and he is about wisdom and partiality. And He's using his wisdom here because we have the five of pentacles, which can talk about worry and hardship. It can also talk about the need to accept some advice, some help. And if you notice, these folks aren't looking for it from traditional structures, you know, church and what have you. They're going their own way. And hopefully down the road, there'll be someone beneficial to help them. So I think what we're getting is an assurance that any actions being taken in regard to the EBS are having the greater good and the greater safety of people as an integral part of those plans and that possibility. So I would love to have that big reveal moment and events to happen fast. And you know, he does talk about fast events, but he can be a little rash, although he's making sure that we don't do things too rashly. So we'll have to see, but I think we can rest assured that yes, the nationwide EBS system is now under white hat control. And uh, the tactical advantage is we won't have conflicting messages coming out um, should that be neat, they happen. And we will see. I love that Ace of Swords for the present. We're in a good place. And our place in the Alliance and in seeing an end to evil in our world is, is getting stronger and better every day. We can be a part of it by picturing it that way and um, staying positive, folks. There's a lot to be excited and happy about. It's a great time to be alive. And I truly believe if we are alive in this time and awake, we chose to be here and we're part of it. Thank you so much for being part of this uh, little video of mine. And if you want to, please subscribe, share, like my videos. Thank you again. Stay safe and I'll see you next time. Good night.